All right, guys, this is episode number 151, 151. In this video, I'm going to start my mail day series. This, what you're seeing here, is all from DC Sports 87. If you haven't followed them on Facebook, Instagram, and eBay, check them out. They're a consignment shop, and they've really blown up in the last six months. Here are the rates they do if you're looking to sell cards. I think they're very fair with their consignment rates. But they have about 500 auctions that end every night, and here's some that I won. So over the course of three months, this is probably 10 packages that I've won over the course of three months. So I make sure to add, give feedback prior to letting the package just sit, and I assume that they'll be worthy of not returns. So I take that chance when I have a stockpile of mail, but feedback is given. I'm gonna share with you what I picked up. Some of these are for my PC. I collect Bo Bichette, Randy Moss. I'm a Timberwolves fan, Twins fan. But some of these are ones that I think can be resold. So here's a insert from 97, Barry Bonds. Love this insert set. We got some Kirby Puckets. We got Ken Griffey rookies. I love mini mantle refractors, and these are high value, but it's a mantle refractor. We got a mosaic touchdown insert of Patrick Mahomes. Game jersey card of Joe Maurer. Grew up about an hour and a half away from my, my hometown. Cal Ripken short print, and you know it's a short print if you look on the code on the very bottom. This is one of my favorite type of cards right now is the sub, the variation cards you find in tops the photo variation. One of my favorite cards in basketball. I just love the design of this. Ichiro Rookie. A lot of these I got between 99 cents and about $7. That's usually where the items end in auction. Some are more, some are less. I got a Mike Evans, obviously this is more, but I think this is only about 15 bucks. And then Joe DiMaggio is one of my PC players as well. My dad has had a chance to live in Brooklyn in 1951 and went to a couple games that season. We got Justin Jefferson, Carl Eller. So when I have monthly garage sales, any of the autographs, the all-time greats go really quick. So I'll be able to double my money with that one. Some Boba Shets, nothing big. Sue Bird, one of the best WNBA players at the moment. Got Brittany Griner, again, one of the best ones in WNBA. Here's a rookie year insert, Kevin Garnett, Wave of the Future. Awesome looking Derek Jeter, the 97 medal. It's iconic in basketball. Hasn't really taken off in baseball yet, but 99 cents for a Derek Jeter like that. This is cool, a Cassius Clay from 1960, maybe 1960. This one was $13, usually don't pay that much for cards for DC sports, but just an original. Muhammad Ali was pretty cool for that price. Here's a numbered Colin Kaepernick. He'll be relevant in 20 years, I feel. Here's some Minnesota Twins. Captures about three years ago. Some of their star players. The one year we did well in the regular season. Justin Jefferson. Anthony Edwards. I think this was a $1.50 lot of one of my favorite players in 99, Terrell Davis. Again, this will, got about 99 cents. This will sell for two bucks here in town. Justin Jefferson. Game use patch of Dan Marino. Numbered out of 50, I believe. Another mantle refractor. Got a Randy Moss chrome. Kamala Harris. This was $1.50 for the VP. So Tops Now does different historical events where they can order online. I love the hologram back. Boba Shet, I think I paid five bucks for this. Don't have that one. This set, so 2011 Tops Update, so same set as Mike Trout. And it's a short print of the Diamond Anniversary. Just a gorgeous looking card. And then two shacks. Got a Ty Cobb, one of the all-time greats, Refractor, Jackie Robinson, one of the all-time greats, Justin Jefferson, 
Game use patch, Felix Hernandez. I think this was a buck fifty. Joe Montana. No, it's numbered. Trace McGrady cheap insert. This was a Trace McGrady lot for I think three dollars. We got a Cal Ripken game used jersey, a couple bucks. Kirk Cousins hollow. This will sell a garage sale. Cal Ripken. Alex Rodriguez. Oscar Robertson. I think this was ninety nine cents. Got Penny Hardaway, another short print. Tim Duncan is an insert that I haven't seen from his rookie year, so I know it's a little more rare. I'm sure it's not super rare like some, but extremely boring back, but unique back as it folds out. Game used jersey of Eli Manning. I'm starting to look for Eli Manning cards just because he's relevant again. Monday Night Football with his brother. Best thing football I've seen in years. Vince Carter, not Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, Cheap Boba Shet, Brad Johnson, Refractor, Randy Moss, Russell Wilson, Bob Feller autograph. This is in person, so I win for a lot less than it would if it's a certified auto, but I probably have 10 to 15 Bob Feller autographs, and that looks good. Odell Beckham, Rookie Year Prism. Obviously, it's not game worn because it's his rookie year, so it's event worn. Maybe the rookie photo shoot. Chuck Foreman, Sue Bird, Bo Bichette, 1990 reprint. The look of that. You got Joe Maurer, game used jersey, Justin Jefferson, Barack Obama. I had lunch in the White House and actually got to meet Barack Obama about 10 years ago, which was crazy. We got Chipper Jones, Frank Thomas, one refractor there. I think this was 99 cents for a Frank Thomas Bagwell refractor from like 97. Ray Allen, this is cheap. It just had the, the silver script, they called it, not silver signature, like 94. This was cheap. This was another cheap one. Trevor Lawrence hasn't really done much, but I think these, it was four cards, it was like $3. Short print, Cal Ripken, Deep Thought. At a press conference, another Bob Feller autograph. You can see that I like Monty Irving, Bob Feller, Bob Gibson. Got a few all-time greats that I, I think their autographs are way too cheap. Odell Beckham, mm, number 99, right in the middle. Anthony Edwards, it's the hobby, not the, the blue retail. Some Packers, I'll resell locally. Anthony Edwards, Harold Miner, 99 cents. He was all the, the talk in the 90s. Again, this is one of my favorite designs. I love the flag in the background. I love that card. Trey Turner, two bucks. I bought a lot of him beginning of the year just because I saw his fantasy projections out. I knew that you'd get a bunch of war. Number one out of 99 for Eli Manning. Archie Manning is dad, so $21 for his dad's autograph. And this set's from 97, I believe. Another undervalued, so this is 20 bucks. Ernie Banks, an early autograph from 97. You think of how, how hard it was get to, hard to get this set of the all-time greats. Man, those are undervalued. Here's a Torrey Hunter game-worn jersey card. Got this for, I think, $2. I'm sure someone local would pay 8 bucks for it. Penny Hardaway, I like the 90s parallels of rookies like this. Some cheaper pennies, Tracy McGrady's, Marshawn Lynch, Skittles, I think these were two bucks. I love getting rookie lots like that. We got Delvin Cook, Bo Bichette, Aaron Rodgers. I didn't have this one, the tops now. Again, it's the same refractor back. Got Barack Obama and Albert Pujols. Cool combo there. We got a number Jerry Rice out of 2,500. DeAndre Hopkins. Ooh, this is awesome. So the short print, so I got Ted Williams fishing. He actually sold Sears or fishing equipment at Sears. And he came to Rochester, Minnesota, where I lived, and I remember I had an autographed baseball of Ted Williams signed in like blue pen. It was my prized possession in about 2000. I traded it, the autograph, 
baseball to a friend of mine. Justin Jefferson, Patrick Mahomes, there's two cards for 99 cents. Got a lot of Patrick Mahomes fans that's stopped by for their sales. Bo Bichette, Terrell Owens, a couple bucks. Jack Robinson, short print. Another Aaron Rodgers, another Justin Jefferson. Joe DiMaggio, I just found this pretty cool, how thick that is. Numbered out of 736, looks like. I haven't seen this. I'm sure this is a Blaster exclusive. Doesn't hold value, but it looks really cool. Aaron Rodgers, Justin Jefferson, Ricky Henderson, short print, Oscar Robertson, 98 EX rookie, Justin Jefferson, Tiger Woods, I think this was a couple bucks from the National, and then Miguel Cabrera. Here's some ones in top loaders. We got Brett Favre, number 999. Iconic image of him in the playoffs. Randall Cobb making his resurgence with the Packers. Here's a Shaq blue chips prototype. I don't know much about this, but it is a buck fifty and a screw down, so it made sense, I guess. Bob Feller again. Joe Mauer jersey again. Almost done. We got. Pudge Rodriguez, nicknames out of 100. Got a short print of Tony Gwynn. Mickey Mantle, this is only a couple of bucks, but kind of a neat card there. Uh, who is this player? Oh, Lefty Gomez. I do have an autograph of him too, Stan Musial. Got Tory Hunter, local favorite, and Brett Favre. Got Justin Jefferson, hollow. And here are the graded cards. So Bowman Chrome, Randy Moss. Some cheap Boba Shets. I think these are about nine bucks a piece. Luis Robert, Lou Bob, these are about nine bucks a piece. I know there's not a whole lot of margins in those, but for under 10 bucks, so it's hard to say no to that. A certified auto, a great a certified auto of a great Yogi Berra. Cheaper slab, I think this is like six bucks. A graded Lou Gehrig from 1978. But a playing card it just seemed interesting for like four bucks, I think this was. An early finest rookie, Dwayne Wade. I think it's the fourth PSA graded gold medallion Wade rookie that I've gotten. I just, I don't know, something about that card I love. Derek Jeter, 93 tops. I have a whole bunch of those. And the last one, the shock that I got at this value. I think it's because in the, the label it said Kevin Garnett. So it was mislabeled on the auction because these usually go for 60 to 80. And I got this for 32 bucks. So 